quarterly or annual reports, ebooks, business proposals, or even lesson plans can often be visually boring and hard to understand. With Visme's easy to use templates, you can easily create a visually exciting version of what you have to say within minutes, not hours, and be proud of the end result. Let me show you how. Click the Create button and select the Documents tab. You can start with a blank template, scroll through the pre-designed documents, search by keyword, or select a pre-designed document below the Visme content types. Hover over each category to see the dimensions of the document. Click the Preview button to see the design. Click Use this template to edit it. Rename the document to find it later. To edit the text, double-click the text box and type or paste your content. You can also add a pre-designed block of text or text and graphics. Click the Basics tab and select one of the available options. To change the background image, select it by clicking on the background, go to Photos, and choose from millions of royalty-free photos. You can also upload your own. Once you find the photo you want to use, click on it and then select Replace Selected Image. The photo will crop automatically and you don't have to spend any more time on it. To update the chart with your own data, select the chart and either manually add the data or click Import Data. You can import data from a Google spreadsheet or an Excel file. You can also fully customize your chart to your specifications. Click the Settings button to change the title, subtitle, legend, values, and appearance of the chart. You can also change the chart type by using the buttons on the top while maintaining your existing data. To remove a piece of content, select it and click the Delete button on your keyboard. To visualize a system or process, I'm going to add a flow chart in the empty space. I can either go to Basics, Diagrams, and choose one of the pre-designed diagrams, or I can click Data, Flow Charts, and build a custom one. Simply drag the pieces on the screen and connect them together with smart lines and arrows. Drag the black points to move the lines and connect to a shape. Drag the red points to add another line from that point. To add the same shape that is already connected with a line, click one of the arrows. Finally, double-click each shape to edit the text. To add a new page to the document, click the Add New Page button in the upper right corner. Select one of the templates or a blank one. I'm going to add a blank page now. I added two by accident, so I click the Settings button and delete one of them. Now I'm going to add a table. Click on Data and select Tables. Drag the mouse to select how many rows and columns you need. Move the table to the right spot on the page and click Edit to make changes to the font, rows, and columns and colors. Next, I'm going to add a map under the table. Click Data and then Maps. Search for a country or region for the map you need. Once you have your map selected, click Edit this map to change its appearance. Click Map Settings to change the color, show or hide borders, show and hide captions on Hover, and adjust the area value map. When you're done, click Insert Map. Now go to Basics, Header, and Text to add titles. Once you add one title, you can click the Duplicate button to quickly add the second one. Here, I'm going to add some data widgets. Delete what you don't need on the page. Go to Data and select the widgets you want to add. Once you add a widget, select it and click Settings to make changes to it. Finally, if you want to share your document online, you can also add media to make it interactive. You can either select from thousands of royalty-free videos by going to Media, Video, and browsing through the categories. Additionally, go to Apps and embed an online video. Last thing you need to do is to make the document look consistent. Go to Theme Colors and apply the desired theme for your document. You can even create your own custom theme colors to match your branding via the Brand Kit section available in your Visme dashboard area. Visme offers several options to share your document with your audience. Share the document by publishing to web, 
sharing privately, or embedding to a website. You can also download the document as an image file or as a PDF, which is the best option for printing and sharing. Finally, you can also download your document as HTML5 to keep any media and other animation features in offline mode. To learn more about creating amazing content with Visme, visit visme.com.